Hey sugars, this is S with Mind Sugar and welcome to my channel. I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe or feel free to be, moan, or complain. It's all sugar. But whatever you do, make sure you hit the belly bell so you can get the latest notifications. Okay, let's chat. You're still mad at your mother and your daughter's mad at you. You are still mad at your mother and your daughters are mad with you. Okay, sugars. Some of you sugars in your 40s, 50s, heck, even maybe 60s. Y'all still holding a grudge against your mom for whatever you felt like she did, didn't do, uh, didn't protect you, didn't provide for you, or whatever it might have been. You're still holding on to it. And because you're still on that grudge cloud, guess what? You now got a daughter that's grown with children and your daughter got a grudge with you. But you, you can't seem to understand why she got a grudge with you. But you loathe, you hate the fact that your own mother won't recognize the grudge you have with her. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight, sugar. You hate the fact that your mother, even as a grown woman, you might be 50 years old, 40, 50, 30, 40, 50, however old, some of y'all 60, you're a grown woman. And you can't stand that your mother don't acknowledge whatever beef that you have with her. But then you are taken back and you feel like your daughter's so ungrateful and you're appalled that your daughter have a beef with you. Hmm. You see the connection there? Do you see the connection, sugar? Wait a minute. Just think about it. Think about that connection. You're mad at your mother and your daughter mad at you. Hmm. You can't accept and you can't fathom as good as you did as a mom, you did the best you can do. Why is your daughter mad at you? Hmm. But on the other hand, you can't stand your mother because she ain't never do what she's supposed to do as a mother. Hmm. Your mother sucks as a mother, but your daughter is wrong for thinking you sucked as a mother. Hmm. I think we're, I think what they call that is generational curses. Yes, you are a part of a generational curse, sugar. If you didn't know, I'm telling you, think about it. This is your situation. You are a part of a generational curse. But you know when you're really going to see it? You know when you're really going to notice it? When your grandbaby see that your daughter have a beef with her. Oh, because them grandbabies are special. Them grandbabies are special. That's a different type of love. Because I know I love my granny. It's a different type of love. But when you notice how your daughter treats your granddaughter, that's when it's going to be like, well, wait a damn minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. You got a problem with that. Don't be treating that baby like that. Oh, and your daughter looking at you like, oh, really? Hmm. Oh, really? Don't be treating her like what? The way you treated me? The only way I know how to parent and mother? Don't treat her like that? Well, guess what? Listen here, sugars. Whichever role you playing as a mother, remember this. Your daughter is picking up that script. She's going to pick up the same script you read and she's going to read it to her daughter. So you got to decide now what you want this family to play out as. All right, sugars, we got to get our minds right in every generation so we can create healthy generations in the future. All right, sugars. All right. Love is just from less.